Hello, so we are back. But this time, we have a job. We have a battery to unlock. So this is a customer uh, battery. And uh, from what I did last video, I have a lot, uh, a lot. I have few batteries to be unlocked. We are charging 10 pounds for unlock. So uh, it's a good business, okay? Now, this battery comes from a customer. <coughs> He's a Romanian guy and he told me he has a Asus GL704 and uh, he asked me if he can revive his battery. Now what can go wrong here? I mean we have a Romanian customer here, yeah? We have a Romanian uh, manufacturer unlock device and uh, everything is fixed by a Romanian guy, yeah? So what can go wrong? Let's see. So first let's try to access the battery. You remember the software we are trying to access the battery and let's try to unlock the battery yeah well of course we have to test first the battery to see if if it's worth to be unlocked because if the cells are dead is even if you unlock it it will get locked again but every battery comes from a customer was uh, has good cells So I think, you know, who's sending a battery knows if the battery is really dead or just the battery died suddenly for uh, from some from no reason. So we have minus plus, you can see the wires there. I mean, you have three reds, three blacks, and then you have a yellow and uh, white wire, which is clock and data. So let's see, we have the yellow one. I mean, already I diagnosed this battery, <laughs> but let's go through the process. Yeah? First, let's unlock it, if it's locked. Or first, let's test it. Oh, sorry, one wire. The red wire. Okay. So let's see, let's bring the software on the, on the screen. That's the software. Now let's read the battery. And check on the screen, the battery is locked. You can see on the screen, the battery is locked. Now let's analyze a little bit the battery. Read the capacity, the battery is discharged. Compute health, you know, this health is very precise. So this health, what you see here, 82% health comes from the chip. This data comes from the internal battery chip, yeah, the management chip. And the health is built up by, uh, you know, the battery getting charged and discharged and the chip can count the capacity. So what do we have here? We have a 4.2 amps battery was manufactured in 2018-12, yeah, so nearly 2019. And uh, what is left from the battery, we have full charge capacity, three point, nearly 3.5 amps, yeah, so the battery lost like 20, 18% from the capacity. Charging current, charging voltage, zero, zero, because the battery is locked. And we have cycle count 11, yeah? So let's get this uh, right. So the customer charge and discharge this battery like 11 times in four years. That's mean this laptop, which is a gaming laptop, probably, most likely, was always plugged in and the battery died without being used. And it will happen, you know? The laptop, it will keep the battery charge and the, the battery capacity the battery to lose the capacity over the time. So this is a clear example. Even if you don't use the battery, the battery it is still getting used. Okay, so 11 cycles, yeah? This battery is untouched. You can modify, obviously, the cycle count. I can do it, but I haven't touched this battery, so this is untouched. This battery health meter, you can't touch it, you can't change the because it's coming from the chip, like how I said. 
So we have a lock battery. You can see the lock, the battery is locked. The cells are like 3.6 volts, which is like a discharge battery, nothing, uh, nothing special, okay? Now to test if indeed the battery is locked, because I have a battery, I have a case where I have an unlocked battery and the battery was not charging or discharging because the chip has an error. Yeah, any chip which is running also software, it's, you know, it can have errors. But going on the charge and pressing start charge, here you can see the battery current. Yeah. So the device starts and uh, is pushing voltage onto the battery. But actually the battery is taking nothing. You can see zero, zero milliamps. Also, if I go to discharge, same story. Probably it will get an error straight away, yes. So the device cannot discharge the battery because the battery is locked. So to unlock the battery, let's go reset. Ah, uh, by the way, before we are locking the battery, because people ask, I have, I have even a moderator, he asked about uh, the test, yeah? So this is a test which will generate an official form if you want to send batteries, you know, over planes or... Uh, you know, let's run a quick test just to show you how is the form. Yeah, so you have the form, you have your data, you press run test. And obviously, probably the battery will fail the test. Let's wait. Yeah, and the test ended. And then you have save PDF report here. Save PDF report. Uh, okay, saved on desktop. Okay, it's saved on desktop. Yeah, give me one second. Let me find the report. Let me find the report just to show you how the report is looking. Yeah, I found it. I found it. Yeah, it's here. So that's how the report is looking. <clears throat> I mean, the report, yeah, we generate the report right now. Failed. Communication, okay. Charging, fail. Discharging, fail. Health 82%. So the program uh, is, is getting like 60%, like a minimal acceptable. So we have 82%. Cycle count 11 from 100. 100 is like the maximum, what they consider to be a, a good battery. Then you have the, the battery information. And then you have the, you know, the company who tests the battery data. Yeah, so this is an official report. And it's important because uh, you can be asked about this report if you send batteries. Okay, good. Now let's go and reset our battery. Yeah, let me close this report. Let's reset the battery. It's exactly what I did, yeah? So I go to reset, new reset, read okay next next then unseal the unseal uh, the battery good now clear chip errors yeah clear chip errors so any errors will be deleted good and now seal the battery back all good. And now if we are going to battery info, read again the data, you can see the battery is unlocked. You can see that. And, uh, you know, when I seen that, I try first time and I say, okay, that's easy money. You know, I just unlock it 10 pounds. That's, that's, that's great. But if you try now to charge, because that's the, that's the test. Yeah. Let me see if the, the battery, it will get charged and discharged. Start charging. And you can see the, the voltage is getting pushed into the battery, the, but, but the battery is not taking anything. It's not taking power. You can see here. And on that point, I uh, spoke with the guy, with the manufacturer, yeah? And uh, I said, you know what? I unlock a battery and it's not taking current. And also, also, yeah, let me press stop battery info so what i will do 
I will disconnect the battery plus yeah, reconnect it back. Now let's see what's happening. Going back to the software, read the data, and the battery is locked again. You can see. <laughs> so the battery, if you disconnect the battery from the device, it will get locked back. And obviously, I spoke with the guy because uh, you know I, I I never have a case like this. This is a special case. That's the reason why I start the video. And uh, turn out, and I knew that, but I didn't expect uh, on this battery. You know, all batteries they have a fuse, like a second protection, and uh, it's a very special fuse. Uh, let me let me show you the other side of the battery. Okay, let me show you one second. So let's go on the other side of the battery because I did open the battery because there was no other way to fix this. Okay, so what do we have here? We have the internal board of the battery. Okay, we have the cells. And there it's a fuse. I will show you one second. Let me get the microscope. Let me see. So this fuse is, is, is there like an extra protection, yeah? It's not like a main protection, it's like an extra protection. Yeah, that one. You can see it? That's the fuse. And uh, let me zoom out. And if you can see, yeah, you can see on the fuse, they have three pins. You have two big pins. And the other one, you have three pins. Like total, you have three pins. D, S, uh, D6, SC4 uh, and I did check online. Let me show you one second. This is a very interesting fuse, and it's not only on the laptop batteries, so I believe it's, uh, it's good to see about what this fuse is doing. Okay. So this is a miniature uh, battery fuse, and the, the, this kind of fuse is used on netbooks, tablets, smartphones, power tools, cordless uh, vacuum cleaners. So you have the input of the fuse, you have the output, yeah, and you have a heater, yeah, this is a heated fuse. So basically, if this fuse is connected on the on a power line or uh, on the plus or on the minus, you come here with the opposite, yeah? If this is plus, you come here with ground. Or if this is on the ground uh, power rail, you come here with uh, plus. And uh, the fuse, it will heat and it will burn the, 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 the big fuse. Interesting. Very interesting. This is an interesting fuse, okay? So you will find devices like uh, what I told you this. And uh, you can find this fuse burn inside. Now let's have a look on our fuse. I will get the multimeter, which is on screen. Volts, okay. So we have ground here. So here we have one of these is input, one is output. So here we have zero, so that's output. This is input, and we have 14.4, you can see. And this is output, and we have zero. So the fuse is blow up. And blow up because here, if this is on plus, probably this pin was connected to ground. And that's the reason why this fuse blow up. So this is a burnt fuse. Let's have a look inside and see how it's inside. And how we can fix it. I mean fix it. Probably to fix it, we have to replace it, right? I should try to hit it. Let me try to hit. So that is how this fuse is looking inside. Now, what's the solution to fix this fuse? 
Let me grab the solder iron and try to do some magic there. So we can see the input, the output, and probably the fuse got burned here by the by the heater by this pin. Pretty interesting. Because I suppose from here to here should be a truck, right? A truck to pass the voltage. Now let's fix this fuse quickly. Maybe it's not the proper way to fix this fuse in this way. Maybe you have to replace it, but like uh, oh, I said, this is a extra protection. And uh, you know what? Based on the data, Okay, we solder the fuse. Now, let's see. Now, based on what I've seen, okay, the battery, it is discharged. So, this fuse didn't blow up because it was overcharged. Very possible, this fuse blow up by a cheap error. Like how I said, I found before, or actually the battery was good, the cells was good was not locked, but the chip has an error and it was not op op opening the, the MOSFETs from the battery. Now let's see and try again. Let me bring the software back. So check here. You can see on the first page, yeah, you can see the current and the charging voltage. We don't have uh, zero anymore. And uh, the lock status is unlocked. Okay, so uh, you can unlock it just by replacing, uh, just by replacing the the fuse, just by fixing the fuse. Actually, it's fixing the battery, so I don't have to unlock it again. And now, if I go to charge, let's go to charge, start charging. And it's charging. You can see the charging current. So the current is going up. And she goes up. Probably like uh, 3000 milliamps. Like what I set up. So slowly, slowly the current is going up. Because the battery is discharged. You can see the state of charge here on the screen. Like 0%. But it's taking current. Like right now it's over 1 amp. And it's going slowly up. The state of charge will goes up also. Now the battery is working, so the only fix, yeah, the only fix was the fuse. The heated fuse. So the fuse is blown by the heat. Yeah, it's charging fine. You can see it's going like now it's 2 amps and the current is still going up. Okay. I'm not here, sorry. Stop charging, we can go to discharge, and now if I press uh, start discharge, it should work fine. Oh no, why not? Because the battery is zero, okay. Let's ignore, ignore the state of charge, start discharging. And it's working, you can see the discharge current here. It's working fine. But I'm surprised. I didn't expect that. So I, I expect, you know, if the battery, if the battery is saying it's locked, yeah, even if I fix the fuse, so she'll say still locked till the moment, uh, till the point I go to reset to reset the battery. But not. I just fix the fuse and uh, got instantly unlocked. Yeah, it's still zero, zero because the capacity is zero. And you can leave it on charge. Now let's speak. Yeah, just few words about the device because I I seen the comment from the last video. The people are saying it's expensive and uh, not accessible. Uh, if you remember the video, you know I will not put links anymore because uh, you know I, this is not an advertised video. I tried to explain you last time. Let me show you something, yeah? 
Let me show you something. So the last video. Remember we made a video about this device. Which is this one. Videos. And uh, what's this video? Okay. Uh, when we review this, uh, this device. And the people said, uh, said in the comment, you know, sorry, uh, it's kind of expensive. But the problem is how you compare, uh, you know, a unique device to say it's expensive because you have to compare it with something. And you cannot because this is unique, like how I told you. And I was thinking, you know, I was thinking to review another device because I'm speaking with someone. And they want to send me a iPhone back cover removal laser, which is cheap. Yeah, this one is cheap. It's like one thousand dollars. I mean, I mean, I mean. You said this is expensive because this is like three hundred, and uh, that one is like one thousand. You will tell me again it's expensive. But actually, it's very cheap for what he's doing. So uh, you know, cheap, expensive. It means something else for everyone. It's cheap for some people, for some people it's expensive. But on our shop, yeah, on our shop, we, we sold, where I'm working, on that shop, we sold last year, like half barrel, yeah, like a big barrel, half, we, we full of batteries. We, we, sold, we, we sold that like a job lot. And like half of those batteries was like new batteries, yeah, like, batteries which we got them over the time and uh, either the customer ordered batteries and they didn't collect them or we ordered the wrong batteries or we bought laptops and we put the batteries there so we sold like a job lot and if you check ebay and you'll see a lot of job lots of batteries sold on ebay so there are people just, uh, you know, they are doing a business only for this, from this, from uh, repairing batteries. Uh, I did try myself to buy cells, yeah? You know how much is a cell? It's like six uh, pounds to buy a cell. Very expensive. But to buy a job lot of batteries, you get like around, uh, you pay like, two pounds for a battery with four cells inside. It's kind of a business, you know. I told you before, remember I told you, you know, just try to stay out from the bubble, from from your bubble, and try to have a look for outside from your bubble. Because here, the life, it's, you know, it's nice and easy. Europe, United Kingdom, United States, Australia... But there are a lot of poor country where actually they don't have eBay. They don't really afford to buy a new battery. And uh, a device like this can come handy. I know a few people from uh, uh, some poor country and only they are fixing. And everyone from the country, they're sending the batteries to them. Yeah. So yeah. Anyway, I had this problem. I spoke with the guy. Yeah, and uh, I told him I will do another video fixing this uh, this problem. And he said he found a he found a solution for small shops. Yeah, and uh, he gave me he gave me a picture to show you. One second. Yeah, this one. So. This is for small shops, so if you buy the device and you buy the reset option, if you unlock like max or 30 batteries per year, you will have next year free. In the next year, if you unlock again only 30, you will have the next year for free, and so on. Yeah. So this is like for small shops to, if they don't have too many batteries, to don't pay like license for one year and actually not using it okay you have to use this uh, coupon code and you'll have this uh, this offer
Okay. It's a nice guy. I told you. I told you it's a nice guy. And I spoke with him and he said, sorry, and I read the comments and the people, the people with small businesses or uh, individual, uh, you know, doing repairs, uh, it's expensive for them. So I will try to do this kind of offer if they want to buy it. But again, this is not an advertised video. It's all about how we can fix a battery. And this is not only a laptop battery. We are speaking about tools battery. We are speaking about tablets battery and so on. They have a second protection, this fuse. Yeah. See, it's all about this heated fuse. You see in the heater, uh, the heater is quite, uh, has quite high resistance. You see this heater here? So for on our case, yeah, that's our fuse here. Has around uh, 16 ohms, yeah? So you can blow up that fuse with a few milliamps. Our battery is still charging. Let's check, let's check. Yeah, so the charging current is 2.8 amps right now. And you can see the battery is charging fine. And the state of charge, 12%. So already charged 12%. So it's working great. Okay. So I'll stop now. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And uh, see you on the next one. Bye.